In every job, in every profession, in every walk of life, you have your good and you have your bad. We have it in taxi driving, we have it in all sorts of different professions. Every now and again I read a story that makes my piss boil, basically, and I think the people involved in the wrongdoing should have everything possible thrown at them. How do everybody? Welcome back to the channel for a Thursday evening. Hope you're doing all right. Let me know how you've done in the comments below today, what you've been up to, and more importantly, you're still sane for all this madness in the world that's going on at the moment. Well, I want to talk to you about rogue traders, specifically the building variety. You know, the kind that come and price a job up, and you find that it's far more than is actually required. We'll meet these two lovely gentlemen, for example. Their names are Jimmy Connors and Francis Ward. And up until recently, they were builders. They were very special builders. They were builders of the cowboy variety. These are the ones that invent jobs that don't actually need doing and rob people of their hard earned money. Well, in this particular case, there was a guy that owns a property who's uh, brain damaged, so let's just say has a disability and a vulnerable person, I would call it. And these two Herberts were called in because there was a damaged brick in the top of this building that needed replacing. And they charged him 10 quid. I thought that's quite a reasonable price to fix a brick considering the hourly rate that some tradesmen actually charge. Well, they come downstairs and said, you've got a big problem up there, mate. Your roof's, uh, your chimney's collapsing and it needs fixing urgently. How much? I need it done. You're here, do it. Oh, three grand to cover it, something like that. Pays them three grand to uh, apparently fix the chimney. They come down and they tell him one of the beams in his roof is collapsing and it needs sorting out. How much? Seven grand. So by, by the time this has happened, uh, 10 pound brick repair turns into 10 grand's worth of roofing. Well, our uh, poor individual writes a check for 7,000 pounds to cover the price of the roof repair. They sort everything out and then tell him that more work needs doing and he says, can't afford that. So they have it on their toes, but promise they'll be back to do the work. Well, one of the neighbors uh, come by and actually noticed that there was some unexplained damage on the roof of the property and raised the alarm and got the check canceled. And these two were arrested. And uh, they're, you know, on their way to jail where they belong. And it turns out that this isn't the only occurrence of them defrauding money out of people for false repairs. It's been going on all over the place. And uh, they found checks and invoices and evidence of other fraudulent activity as well. These are typical cowboy rogue traders. Unfortunately, the country's got loads of them. And where it's annoying, they're defrauding innocent people out of money which they don't need to spend. And it puts a very bad, tarnished view on the profession as a whole. Now, to me, an example needs making out of these two. They need throwing in prison, teaching a lesson, all their rights and privileges removed, and send a clear message to everyone else that this isn't acceptable. But knowing the justice system in this country, they'll both be slapped on the wrist and probably be out within three months. Despicable, isn't it? And you wonder why we've got major problems as we do. Anyway, I'm off. I'll see you later with another one. Doodaloo.